The Earth is inhabited by a huge number of organisms. Scientists have estimated that in addition to humans, there are about 7.7 .7 million species of other animals residing all over the globe. Some of these animals have been domesticated by people and used for different purposes. However, there are numerous animals and small organisms which are not liked by humans or at times feared and abhorred, but they often come into close contact with us and lead to a testing situation. These may include creepy reptiles, a horde of spiders, and a swarm of dreadful mosquitoes. Now that these creatures have become part of our ecosystem, it's not that easy to get rid of them. But before we get started, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Explosive Solutions Cockroaches are considered one of the most despised pests. They're very resilient as they can thrive on toxic foods, regrow their limbs, and astonishingly can survive for many days even without their heads. A Brazilian couple experienced the nightmarish behavior of nasty cockroaches in 2019. They were tired of cockroach houses in their backyard. One day, the poor husband decided to burn them all. He emptied a gasoline can into their nest and threw lit matches. Resultantly, the backyard burned down to rubble along with a cockroach population. Bat Bonanza No one would like to host bats at their home. At an undisclosed location in the United States of America, Reddit user Irish Train 2020 was surprised to find a horde of bats in his sink, behind the TV, and hanging from the blinds once he came back home. He discovered that bats had crept through a gap in the roof. Conscious of disease threat, Irish Train got rabies vaccination and came back equipped with thick gloves to clear the mess, but he confronted another group of about 200 bats. We have to commend him for being brave enough to handle this many bats. He picked every bat, put it in a cage, and drove them away to the wild. Webby Wigglers Those who visited Rotterdam in the Netherlands in 2009 would have come across quite a strange scene all around the ground and trees, a thick web-like white substance deposited everywhere. A throng of ermine moth caterpillars were the cause behind this site. Due to their slow movement, they're usually exposed to attack by predators like birds, but once they move in a mass and secrete a silk-like web, they create a protective web around them that provides them protection. Unfortunately, this car has been covered by the extensive web produced by them. However, good luck to the owner as ermine moth caterpillars are not harmful to humans. Don't eat beetles In 2016, Francis Jurix set a dog Bailey free to pee outside. On returning, Bailey seemed a bit lethargic and had foam in his mouth. Francis rushed her to a vet who disclosed that about 30 to 40 well-grown-up lady beetles were clinging in the dog's mouth. These beetles are known as Asian lady beetles and are much different from the usual familiar ladybug. They have a roundish and smaller body with some typical markings that are called pests. They secrete extremely disgusting odors when they feel threatened or are crushed. They come in droves and, to be safe, better clear them away with a broom and wash the surface with soapy water. Bailey tried to eat the beetles, but they stuck stubbornly onto the roof of her mouth. The vet conveniently cleared her mouth. Mosquito Mayhem In 2016, a Polish family went through an unforgettable experience with mosquitoes. Weather in Poland is generally very wet and immediately followed by hot spells, which provide the most suitable breeding conditions for mosquitoes. Sometimes, an enormous swarm of flying insects forms a thick cloud over the area. Fallen mosquitoes formed a thick carpet on the ground. The family was not afraid, rather broomed them out. Thousands of mosquitoes can settle in the boxes hung for providing shelter to birds here. Birds and Turds Swifts had been solving problems in Poland, but they ran through trouble over in Torrance, California. One day in April 2021, they returned home after enjoying a meal. They observed hundreds of birds sweeping down their chimney. Carrie, head of the family, contacted Animal Control, who advised to keep the doors open and wait. Sensing the trouble, she requested her relative, Patrick, for help. The family spent the night in the hotel, whereas Patrick cleared the house. Wads of bird covered everything inside the house, and feathery creatures were flying around inside. Patrick caught many of them and put them in cardboard boxes, and finally threw them out. Despite his immense efforts, some of the birds settled on the ceiling to sleep. Eventually, after two nights, the house was cleared of the birds. A similar incident had taken place towards northwest of Torrance in Montecito as a swarm of birds got trapped in the chimney of another house. But why do the birds get into chimneys this frequently? 
Turns out these birds look for a cozy, secure place for resting and to avoid falling prey to predators. At times, chimneys fulfill their requirements perfectly. Spider Eat Surprise Seeing a single spider is enough to make anyone question, but can you imagine what happens when dozens of them greet you? If you also hate spiders like we do, life would be very difficult in Australia for you. At the beginning of 2021, a mother in Sydney came back from work. Her daughter informed her about the presence of some spiders in their home. She entered her daughter's room and got the shock of her life. She thought there might be 50 to 60 spiders, but then looked at the corner, which was full of spiders. She decided to leave them on their own. They were the huntsman spiders who don't harm humans and prefer to eat household pests like mosquitoes. A similar decision was made by the Gray family as their house harbors tons of tiny huntsmen. If you see this huge huntsman, it measures approximately 6 inches wide, just about equal to a dollar bill. Quit the buzz Bees form an important part of our ecological system and produce honey that is immensely beneficial for our health. But they're not very good housefellows. In December 2020, Sarah Weaver and her husband purchased a farmhouse in Pennsylvania, and the seller informed them of the presence of bees in the walls. However, the reasonable price tag made them ignore the warning. When spring arrived, they started to hear a bee buzzing outside their yard, which gradually turned into a swarm. This whizzing continued 24-7. At their request, a professional beekeeper, Alan Latanzi, came to help them. For a week, Alan removed every brick and tile from the outside of the farmhouse. Everywhere he found bees scurrying around and making honey. Although the bees were quite docile, but their immense number was quite alarming. Alan estimated that there were about 450,000 bees on the farm. He extracted the honey from honeycombs, and meanwhile he found out the queen bee and took it away. He took away about half a million strong bee colony to a farm in the vicinity. Astonishingly, he got stung just five times during the entire process. Bugged out In 2019, a bug exterminator was asked for help in some part of the United States of America. He came to the house to find lentil-sized bed bugs flourishing on the couch. The insects were squeezed in every crack they could find. A single bed bug female can lay up to 500 eggs during its life cycle. Therefore, they spread very quickly. This blood-sucking insect loves human blood. They can survive without being fed for about 550 days. It implies that you can't starve them out. If you've got these filthy guests in your home, the only solution available to you is to clean everything forming part of your possession. If infestation spreads, nothing is going to be safe at your home. Stinky Situation Stink bugs are less dangerous than bed bugs as they don't bite humans. These beetles cannot be recognized just by their name. They're known pests that devour fruit as well as vegetables. In October 2017, Pat and Simon, a couple residing in South Carolina, faced a unique situation while watching TV. While Pat felt that she had left the front door of their bedroom open, she immediately moved upstairs to close the window and witnessed thousands of stink bugs that had flown in and were crawling everywhere – bed, floor, walls, etc. Simon Paul also rushed up and was petrified to see the unbelievable situation. Gradually, they came to their senses and immediately grabbed brooms and started sweeping the floor, walls, etc. to push out the bugs. They spent the whole night in a cleaning operation and finally hit the bed to take some rest. Kill it with fire In 2010, a resident of Panna, Illinois called in the whole fire department to get rid of insects. The resident was a hoarder and kept his place immensely dirty. Cockroaches had fully occupied the storage and filth had carpeted the floor. Local authorities considered the house unfit for living by humans. Quite surprisingly, the firefighters reached to start a fire instead of their prime duty to extinguish the one. First of all, they dug a two-foot-deep trench around the perimeter of the house. It was filled with wood and straw. The team searched the house and removed any hazardous material from there and placed combustibles in there. Subsequently, they ignited the trench so that fleeing cockroaches be trapped there, and then the complete house was set on fire. After burning everything inside the house, the firefighters performed their actual job of putting out the flames. Army Antics Army ants gathering outside your home is quite a horrifying sight. A homeowner in Costa Rica was unfortunate enough to experience such an occurrence. But as it turns out, this ant attack proved to be beneficial for him as he was facing a much bigger problem. A wasp nest was hanging from his porch. Army ants eat wasps. These ants move quickly while using their legs. 
saw the ants interlocking their hooks form a bridge for the others to cross from the porch up to the wasp nest. You might be thinking that they should have moved straight up to the nest and avoided a lot of effort. Well, ants face a lot of difficulty in moving vertically, and often they have to carry a heavy load like pupae, eggs, or an adult wasp. Their U-shaped bridge helped in avoiding difficult ceiling scaling. Rather, they optimized their traffic flow. Outbound ants move along the edges while leaving the main inner route open for inbound ants carrying the spoils. Rattlesnake Ruckus In 2019, a man in Texas felt that his cable service was having some problem, and he moved down into the crawl base of his house. He thought that it might be just a loose wire and he could fix it. As he moved forward, he felt the presence of a few rattlesnakes which are common in Texas. The poison injected by these serpents can cause nausea, sweating, and impaired vision. The man felt quite distressed as he realized there were about 45 snakes. Therefore, he rushed out safely and contacted the experts at Big Country Snake Removal Services. The team performed the nightmarish clearance operation with the help of a long claw and sheer guts. One by one, all the 45 slithering serpents were pulled out and transferred into buckets. The guy lived at a distance of about 40 minutes from Sweetwater, a district known for Sweetwater Rattlesnake Roundup. Here, every year, in a controversial festival, over 250,000 wild rattlesnakes are captured, held in plastic bins, and butchered. The festival organizers pay $10 per pound of snake donated. So this guy could have earned about $2,700, but he decided to release the snakes into the wild. We hope you enjoyed learning about these gross pests. Do tell us in the comments which one made you throw up. For more amazing content, stay tuned to our channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you all next time.